Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Motivation for Young Christians. Welcome back, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about my journey to healing. Last year, um, right when the pandemic hit, I was able to be by myself because due to like the pandemic, everything going on, I had that time to myself to be able to reflect on my life, stuff that I went through, some trauma, some pain, some hurt, and just being able to like find out how things still affected me um where my hurts are what am i um hurt by what traumas do i have what pain and hurt do i have um the pandemic gave me that chance to have those conversations with myself because i've never uh had those conversations with myself previously to be able to find out what what am i hurt by am i a traumatized kid do i have trauma like I, I I use the pandemic to be able to um use that and through the, all those self reflection I found out that I I have a lot of hurt a lot of pain a lot of traumas a lot of stuff that I did not heal from that I went through and just basically moved on but never went and back to heal from those stuff and I found how all of those stuff um affected me and I know still there's a lot of other more stuff that is yet to be uncovered that I need to um uncover but um I was able to uncover those things and understand how they still affect me um like how I in my previous video last week when I was talking about the bullying situation through the pandemic um those self-reflection is how I found out um and just had a full conversation with me about what I went through what happened? What hurt? Pain came out of that. Do I hold grudges against people? Is there people that are doing it? I have not forgiven from those situations. And just a whole um bunch of other stuff that just occurred. I was able to do it through um the pandemic. So with this upcoming year, um, when we're going into this year, uh last year, uh, I just set the goal of that this year was gonna be a year of healing. I'm going to go on a healing journey to heal from um all of these hurts these traumas these pain that i have and i that's was the plan for this year and uh i didn't fully go along with it because I, I wasn't um fully on it i wasn't consistent with um the healing process uh i was i was pretty much here and there with it and once um the debt started happening in my life as i mentioned um two weeks ago in the grieving video once those stuff happened in my life, I completely stopped that healing um, journey and I was just more focused on what was going on. Because when um, the deaths start occurring, my thing was, God, I already got my stuff that I got to deal with. I already got these hurts, these pain, these traumas, these stuff that I'm trying to heal from. And now we got more stuff going on. It's like, I already got my own personal stuff I got to deal with. Now we adding all more stuff to my plate. I'm not even I'm not even healed from these things. I'm not good on these things yet. And now we had no more stuff to my plate. So that also played a part in my frustration of um all of the all the um of this year. It played a part of my frustration. And and now as I was able to just handle everything way better, um, I was able to just have that realization of that we go through things and it's very much okay um and those things are beneficial to your life a lot of things that i went through um end up benefiting me in the long run like the bullying situation that benefited me because it led me into preaching motivational speaking led me into my channel all of the and everything that i'm doing right now on my career path it led me into all it led me into all of that and it just gave me a new way to look at stuff that I went through because with um me preaching the word that God gave me of why trials and tribulation were important and me just rereading that word and just saying how much that applied to my life is like trials and tribulation are important, but they're there to happen and just benefit you. So as of now, I'm just gonna as of now I'm continuing to be on that uh journey of um healing uh from just a lot of things that have occurred in my life because with me not being taught about um traumas like ptsd uh how stuff in your past affect you and stuff like that um i always just push past stuff that i went through um throughout my life i know it's a lot of stuff that i haven't uncovered it's a lot more things in my life that i need to be able to uncover but um 
last year I was able to do that, just uncover a lot of the hurt, a lot of the pain, a lot of the trauma. And um, I just went along on that healing, went along on that healing journey. And then when the dust start, that start happening, I paused it. But right now I'm just, I'm back onto my healing journey. And it's very important because I, I need to heal from these things. And I understand that if I don't heal from these things um if i don't focus on the healing of them now it's going to be way harder for the healing process later it's going to um it's going to be way harder and then plus um especially with hurt pain and trauma the longer you hold on to it the worse it's going to get because the more you hold into in on the inside the more it's going to be expressed on the outside and I, I've seen how it's been um, expressed on the outside through frustration, getting mad, like uh, angry, spazzing out on people. I've seen how the hurt and the pain have done that. So that's what just made me um, focus heavily more on that healing process. To, um, so that way I could be able to be healed from these things. I could be able to just continue because if I try to do this later on, it's going to um, just be um worth myself it's going to be more hard and like i said before i don't want to offend nobody because i know how um i can get because i've gotten to the point where all the hurt and the pain that was in the inside i expressed it through the outside and <laughs> ended up getting me in some trouble so i i just really wanted to um focus more on that so i'm on that healing journey right now and the journey have been hard um it's been hard especially talking about stuff that i don't want to talk about because especially with like hurt pains and like traumas a lot of stuff you just don't want to talk about but i have to talk about them so i always pray to god and say god just give me the strength to be able to do he's saying give me the strength to be able to talk about um it and then just those conversations with myself just being able to realize stuff some of those conversations with myself are just hard and those conversations sometimes lead to me just breaking down, um, crying, especially uh, with the deaths that occurred this year for my life. As I mentioned that video, like I broke down several times. I've never, to, I've never cried that much over um a situation in my life. Um, it was like it got to a point where I couldn't talk about that without crying. Like I'm very surprised I went through that whole video without crying. And that is like no jokes. I didn't edit out no part of of thing or nothing like that. I went through that whole video talking about um that without any tears, which very surpri it surprised me the most because anytime I talk about them, I I do end up start crying. So the fact that I went through that video, I cried. I was like, what? Hey, <laughs> um. So it's just those conversations sometimes are hard, and just allowing myself to be able to just feel the emotion of um a uh, situation and stuff that happened just be able to fit our emotions because me. with me being a young man i was always raised on you know, like men don't show emotions real men don't cry um stuff like that so that's always been a mentality embedded in me so especially with like situations where it gets me to cry sometimes i resist it because i'm like no nah, man should not be crying da, 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 da. I, I i get into that mindset but then i also gotta tell myself that it is okay to cry it's okay to shed tears it's okay to feel and that's also something that i'm still working on because it's a constant battle with myself um with that mentality and just um the process because it do lead to crying because some situations um it, some situations i talk about or like stuff that occur uh, I could just talk about it um, without um, crying, but I do feel like the sadness or like the anger, but other situation just leaves me to crying and and stuff like that. This, this process has not been easy, but I loved it because I'm able to just understand myself more and uncover so many things because especially what I said with the bullying, um, discovering that I never before paid attention to how that affected me. I knew of the positives that came out of it, but I didn't pay attention to the negatives that came out of it. I didn't pay attention to um, the mentality, my mentality that I had that came out of it. I didn't pay attention to how it still resonates with me now, um, like, uh, especially like with jokes. Uh, I couldn't be able, I couldn't take jokes um, a certain, for like a certain period of time because of 
experiencing that bullying for so many years, all the jokes that I heard, I got to a point where I just didn't want to handle my jokes. So if you send any jokes some type of way, I'm going to look at you. Um, I'm gonna, like, I'm going to stare you down like in a mean way or I'll just say something like negative back. Because during that process of um getting bullied and after my and when I changed my mentality, I created that mentality of it doesn't matter what the person says, as long as you say something worse than them, anybody, everybody gonna forget what the other person said. So I also came, I also developed that mentality too. So especially like with if I see somebody said joke that I wasn't too fan of, I was gonna attack. I was gonna say something worse than you said to me. And then that also led to trouble too. So it's it's a whole bunch of like other negative thing that came by with it, but it was so good for me to uncover those things to be like, okay, I need to change that. I need to work on that. I need to pray on that. I need to have conversations on that. So the healing process has been difficult, but it's just been amazing uncovering everything and just learning more, learning more about myself. Cause I'd rather do this, do this process, do this journey right now than do it later. Cause later it's going to be um, way harder and just keeping all that hurt, all that pain, all that trauma inside of me. Um, it's going to be expressed on the outside um, because it's like, it, as it continue to build up, it'll explode at one point, and then that may lead to just a lot of chaos to happen. Because I've seen moments in my life before where I let stuff build up, and I went off, and those moments are going off with bad. So I know it would definitely be worse later, and I just want to be able to just be healed. And be better and just be able to just um be good and we're just finding out about like mental like uh talking about your mental health that's another thing that i focused on last year um because i've had mental issues like my mental health has always been like up up down up up down um and last year it was like, it was low um especially with like d- discovering and uncovering um uh, a lot of those traumas hurt and pain it just made my mental health go down and I was also working that was another aim for this year to work more on my mental health and I haven't done such a good job on that area also with the healing but um I'm I'm getting back on it I'm getting back consistent with it to be able to just have more conversation with my health uh have have, have more conversation with myself on all um, topics that are important uh, and just stuff that just affected me and just also asking the Holy Spirit to just point out stuff to me and yeah point out stuff to me so that I uh, okay tell me that I need to talk about this I need to talk about that so also let the Holy Spirit guide me and having my mentors there like uh going to them about advice about saying things talking talking to them uh because especially with talking to them they relate too because we all like go through stuff you all have stuff that we go through and sometimes we don't understand how they affect us but to them i was able to understand a lot so i i've just just been on this this journey of um handling and that's that's a goal for this that's a goal for the rest of this year upcoming next year and the following years just to just continue that healing process continue um that process of healing so that way i can be able to get better um with myself so that way we continue to um continue to have my mental health where it needs to be because with a lot of those stuff it sometimes brings my mental health down with thinking about a lot of those things because it either makes me like sad or like angry and uh, um it, it just it really starts to affect everything else that I got going on so I just try to focus heavily those things now and just work through them and pray about them have conversation with myself about them if i talk about talk to my mentors about them just be able to get the help that i need in order to just continue my healing process and i i'm just going to continue that i'm just going to continue that process because that process is um that process is very important because over i think over the last three four years it's just been a lot that occur um just it's like every year it was something new that was happening. Uh, last year was something. This year was something. The year before that was something. The year before that, it was something. And I remember in the 2019, 2019, I did counseling um, over a situation that I was going through at that time. And 
I remember with that counseling. Um, at first, I was hesitant to go into because I was going through a situation that was heavily affecting me, and I was bottling it up on the inside, but I started to see that it was being expressed on the outside. And once I, I was able to realize that, I said, Ezron, you got to talk to somebody. I remember that day, I was right in front of my guidance counsel office. And I'm like, should I go in? Should I go in? Should I go in? Because I also had the mentality of just keeping my business to myself so that way I could just work through it. And I don't got to have nobody in my business. And I've always been a person to just work through my stuff by myself. And that's also another challenge that I face. Um, just having that mentality of okay i could do by myself i could do by myself when i don't have to and i can't do it by myself because i have people around me that's going to be there so that's also another challenge with um that but uh getting back to uh what i was saying so it was just having that mindset like, should i do it should i do it but i was like you know what i'm gonna do it i went into that office and that was one of the best decisions i ever made because i remember at that point my mental health was low and then like i said everything that I was brought up in the inside was being expressed on the outside at that point and I, I I just didn't like it and just going into my guy's house and having that conversation with her was one of the best decisions I ever made because the thing I was going through at that time my guy's counselor went through the exact same thing so not only I was able to have the professional um professional side of the professional um side of getting the help of what so not only not only i was able to get that professional help but um my guys kind of understand exactly what i was going through because he went through that exact same thing so that was just a just a, a amazing time for me just being able to like understand um a different side of the aspect of things i was going through because sometimes you go through stuff you only focus on one side or aspect of it but you need to focus on the entirety of it so that was able to just point out um them for me and i remember after i did that that helped with my healing process a lot throughout that situation because the things that my guy started pointing out to me i was able to be like okay so i had to do that i had to do that and i was able to um do that and i'm just telling you that's just something that was so amazing um for me and a lot of other stuff happened after that and yeah, just <laughs> just mainly like these last three, four years just been crazy. Just full of just a bunch of like stuff that just occurred that either made my mental health go down, or just affect me and stuff. So I'm I'm on a hill. I'm just I'm on I'm on the healing process right now. Uh to be able to um heal from a lot of these things and still uncovering things that I need to heal from. Uh, still uncovering things I need to heal from and like that. And I know um I talked about you know, stop by the cops and uh, I think in the the rewind the rewind video I talked about that I talked about how that affected me and stuff. That's something that still affected me because that situation could have ended with me getting killed um and stuff. And that was one of them situations that I didn't expect to happen. Um and then that that I think yeah that happened I believe that happened right right before I moved out of New York that happened the same month I moved out of New York that happened so that also led into my mental health slowing down and then once I got to Jersey a lot of things happened which dropped <laughs> my mental health which led me into having those conversations with myself because I was I was just I was just seeing like I was just like yo I was like you're not right you're not right and I was able to start having those conversations um with with myself and uh, there's just been a lot of a lot of stuff that's happened uh because i think for my age i just i've been through a lot to me for my age and the fact that i'm still strong the fact that i'm still going uh sometimes i don't even know how i do it to be honest with you i know it's god because it's definitely in me because i know it's just sometimes it's, i don't know how you be doing it because it's just it's crazy if you know, you know. I'm not a probably explain it, but if you know, you know. It's crazy. Um, but I'm just continuing that process. Just continuing that process of um healing. I know these last three weeks I've been um with you guys talking about stuff I've been through and talking about a lot of stuff that I said. Because I think it's very important to talk about your hurt. It's very important to talk about your pain. It's very important to talk about your traumas. 
and how does stuff affect you and talk about the healing process because everybody else go through that and you need to be able to heal from those things to be able to um uh, move on and with me talking about the grieving talking about how that affected me and how i'm here i'm i'm still in the healing process of um that too talking about the bullying still in the healing process too and now we're at the end for the third week i'm telling you guys about the healing process so it's just amazing and it's important uh it's just important to be able to do that because mental health is very important your mental health affects every single thing you do if your mental health is not right everything that you try to do around you won't end up being right and that's something that i learned because all those times that i've hit all those times that my mental health hit low it affected every single thing i was doing and i know especially with me being i'm going back to school now i got other stuff that i got to do uploading my videos i need to be i need to be good so i could be able to function right and be able to do my videos be able to attend these bible study be able to attend classes um i need to be able to do everything i don't want anything to prevent me doing what i love doing what i gotta do so especially um that plays a part in why i was really focused on getting this healing process so that way i'm able to talk about it i'm i'm going through it i'm going through the process and still be able to do um what i love so it's just it's just been that's that's just been uh, my goal and that's um my focus right now just healing so i'm gonna i'm done healing journey to heal from my hurts my pains my traumas uh and just uh, all of, all of the above I'm, I'm just on that journey of healing so that way i can get better uh and that way i'm able to um improve my mental health to where i want it to be because my mental health is not low right now but it's not where i want to be uh, i'll give it like if we do like a scale to one to give it like a six so i want it i, I want it to be like a good point so i'm still we're just working through we're gonna do everything still having conversations um and just all the above and just the key everything that helped me a lot is just a self-reflection just having those conversations with myself just sitting down with myself just talking about stuff then praying after and just involving the lord because the lord is a healing god he's a healing god he's a holy god he's a mighty god he's a mighty god so after I have those conversations with myself, anytime I do personal reflections, right after, I make sure I pray. Well, I open it up in prayer, and then after, I close it out with a prayer. Um, Just also, just keeping God involved through the whole process. And that's the main thing for me through this healing process, keeping God involved heavily, continuously keeping him involved, because he is going to help me. And then keeping my mentors involved, too. Uh, so, so they know... Um, my my state so that they know what um i'm doing and just getting their help uh and all of the uh, just getting their help their with some of their advice and things like that so just keeping them involved and just being real with myself uh just kicking that mentality of real men don't do this real men do, don't do that kicking that mentality and kicking that mentality of i can do this by myself i can't so those two just been the main struggles through the healing process. Um, those two been the main struggle, but I'm continuously just praying for God to just help me to get out of those two mentality, so that way I could just continue that process. So that's that's my um pro- that's my aim, that's my journey right now. I'm just going through a journey of healing from these hurts, these pains, these traumas um so that way i could be able to get my mental health to where i want to be that way i could be good um so yeah that's what i'm doing um right now that is exactly what i'm doing i really don't know what left to say i think i'm pretty i'm pretty sure i'm running out of stuff to say but that is my aim for this that's my that is just my that is what i am currently on that journey of healing and i'm just going to continue this journey no matter the difficulties no matter the troubles even if um other stuff occur in my life as i mentioned before uh once the death start happening i kind of pause the journey but 
I got to know it. And no matter what occur, we continue in the journey. We continue the journey. And we're going to keep on pushing, keep on having the Heavenly Father with me, keep on talking about mentors, because uh, we are going to defeat this. And I'm going to be able to get at the end and be like, okay, I'm good. So I'm on a healing journey. And I just, I just made a video to be able to just give you guys the mindset of where I'm at. Uh, Cause on my channel, I like to use like personal examples. I like to talk about my experiences and stuff I go through to be able to not only relate messages, but to kind of give you guys a little access into my life. Cause I don't give you too much access into my life uh, like that. Cause, cause <laughs> I like to keep my personal life personal, but I also like to involve some of it because um, it's, it, it's the way that I love preaching. I love preaching from experience. And also just being able to just give somebody the message of we all go through stuff. Like I go through stuff too. And just giving that opening because I know growing up, I don't have, I don't know. I don't think I don't, I don't know anybody that was openly talking about what they were going through, how they was feeling. They hurt, they trauma and pain. And I want that to become a norm because we all have uh, trauma, hurts and pain. I want that to become a norm. So that way, we're able to um help each other so through my channel of doing this um i just want to it's just to spread more awareness of it to just talk more about what you go through your hurts your pain your trauma your child your tribulation um and just not have it boiled up inside not talk about it at all i just want that to become a norm i know especially coming from that caribbean background um that's not a norm coming from the black background that's not a norm uh, and I just want to make it more norm so that way uh, we know that our mental health is important and know what affects your mental health. So uh, I'll just continue to do that, guys, to just make it a norm because uh, it's very important for us to talk about what we go through. It's very important for us to talk about our child, our tribulation, our hurt, our pain, um, because we all have it. And if you don't um, talk about it, it will bottle up on the inside and be expressed through the outside. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, these last three weeks where I've been talking about the stuff that I've been through and my current mind, my current mindset right now. Uh, continue to send prayers along my way through this healing process. Uh, I'm going to send prayers along you guys' way too. Um, just thank you for being um, with me through all of this. Thank you for just uh being able to support that that 12 year old as one dream of making videos just thank you guys um so much this was the end of the video this was it for the video guys thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you guys thank you guys so much if you haven't already like the video subscribe if you're new please turn on your post notification that way anytime i upload a video youtube will send your notification this is motivation for young christian i'll see you guys in the next video bye <laughs>